So writer and email marketing do go together very well. And in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how you can create some emails, whether they be broadcast follow-ups or maybe a cold email using this software. If you'd like to follow along, I will put a link down below. Writer is unique for the fact that they come with a free plan, which is different from a free trial. It will be a little bit limited, but it's cool that you can at least use it for a good amount of time where the amount of characters and words that you can use reset month after month. From there, you can obviously scale up and use a paid plan if you want. So let's use the email use case here. A use case is another way of saying a uh, template. They have a few, not a ton compared to some of the other software tools I have reviewed, but let's click on email. What we need to do here is acknowledge some of the key points that we're going to be talking about in an email. For example, let's say I'm going to send an email. It's going to be a follow-up after someone opts in and they got their free gift. This example in the background is pretty much the one you get when you sign up for Writer. So their key points would have been welcome to Writer. Are you enjoying the experience? Watch these tutorials and guides. Please reach out if you have any questions. Have a great day. Very simple. Before I do that, we'll talk about the variants. You could do one, two, or three. Uh, let's do one at the time. And for creativity level, we can do optimal. You can do none for more factual and max for less factual. It's going to depend on what you're talking about. Obviously, something where facts aren't as big of a deal, you know, you could use the max, but I'm just going to keep it at optimal. So, so what I'm going to do is write it out, explain it a little, and then, you know, skip over so you don't have to see me writing all this. So give me one sec. Okay, so let's talk about what I quickly wrote. So when it comes to follow ups, I've always liked them being pretty simple. You know, you can explain a little bit more about yourself. That's something you can always do. But let's look at what we have. So first and foremost, the key point is going to be thanks for signing up for my newsletter. This is always good as it gives them like a reason to say like, Oh, yeah, I completely forgot about that. Or you don't want them to do that. A lot of times people will sign up for newsletters and they forget about it. And like, who is this, they might hit spam, you know, like you're receiving this because you signed up for the XYZ newsletter. Thank you for that. Oh, yeah. And by the way, don't forget to download your free gift. It's the main reason why they signed up, especially if they go to your opt in page, they reach the thank you page and they have to go to the inbox to download it. So it's very important. Next, we also have, you know, feel free to watch the free marketing training videos. So aside from having a free gift, you might have some training videos there. And just a reminder to keep an eye out for tomorrow's email, kind of an open loop, you know, maybe you're teasing something that another free gift or something of valuable that's valuable that they might want to have. And last but not least, we're going to have talk soon. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. Let's see what we get. What I'm going to do is click on write for me. This is how we're going to generate content. Normally, what happens is when I click this button, I'll just, you know, cut it off so we don't have to wait. But I just want to show you how long it's going to take in terms to generate content. So let me click on this. I'm going to talk through it during this time. You know, usually it takes, I'd say, like between five to 10 seconds for a lot of software tools. This one is probably going to be around there. And there we have it. So let's look at it. Subject, you're on the list. Obviously, you could completely change this. I like how it understands that like you just signed up for it. Uh, but usually for a subject line, the first one is like, you know, thank you for signing up. Here's your like click here to get your download, something like that. So they know exactly what they're looking for. Hi, you don't always have to have that. But thanks for signing up for my newsletter. You're one of the first to hear about sales and new products. I want to also say a quick hello and thank you for joining us. You'll find a free gift attached to this email to help you get started. Check out our marketing training training videos here. It's free and there are new ones being added all the time. Tomorrow, I'll be sending out an email with a special offer just for my subscribers. So keep an eye out. Not bad. Let me know how you're getting on by replying to this email. Let me know how you are getting on by replying to this email. Hmm, maybe that could be a little rewarded, but uh, let me know how you're doing. You know, let me know how your marketing efforts are going. Let me know what you need help with. Let's do that. You can also do some cool things, which I'll talk about another time. Let me know uh, what you need help with by replying to this email. Perfect. And then talk soon. Sign off, you know, comma, James. And just like that. So overall, not bad. Uh, what it does is pretty much give you the key points or you give it the key points and then it expands upon those. So uh all in all, I mean, I wrote, I don't know how many words that was, but it turned it into 110 words. That is including like the subject too, which you don't always have to use that. It's just there. And usually I don't use the, the recipient name anyway. So something like that. And then of course your subject line. So yes, writer can help you when it comes to emails. 
I like the fact that when I created this, it understands that like I just signed up to a list because this could have been say like a cold email, but writers smart enough to acknowledge the fact that I said, hey, thanks for signing up on my newsletter. That's just a very quick tutorial video when it comes to using writer for email marketing. I hope you enjoyed this and got some value out of this. Once again, you can test them out. They have a completely free account. I'll leave the link down below. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I don't bite. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.